of Project Ocean. <laughs> I'm like, crap, my mind just went, eh? Alright, so... Been getting a lot of sand going. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Or put my other stuff for right now, and I'll probably make that into more dust so I can get more stuff. Oops. Pretty soon here. So we want to take clay, sand, and gravel, and it makes grout or grout. I am grout is what the achievement is. So I'm gonna do that. Really? I did not know you actually had to smelt it in a smeltery. This was all not built by me the last time I played. That is a... Uh... Alright. I'm going to take some charcoal out of here. And cook up more charcoal as they take a bunch out. And that way, we'll have plenty for what we need, but I'll also be making more. Ah. That is very interesting. Oh, I thought that was for something else. But you don't even have to go into the heater part. You can just put it in right there. All right. So it looks like I'm going to have to... Uh... Oh. Crap. Um... I'm going to have to get this out. Because I'm going to want some of it to be bricks. I have to have some of it to be bricks. Um... I got a crap ton of gold. Screw it, we'll just use gold. And what we'll do, I'll put gold in there. And I could sacrifice an iron ingot. And you're like, probably thinking, why are you, what do you mean sacrifice an iron ingot? Because if you pour gold or aluminum brass over a brick or an ingot or whatever, it's the same shape, you get the cast for that. So we're going to go ahead and make the cast for ingot, or the ingot cast, because we're going to need bricks for certain things. See, I'll show you guys here. Alpha. So we're going to need casting bin, a seared bricks, which is going to be easier to just pour it in the, in the block form. Uh, smelter controller tank, strain, faucets. Your normal stuff. So, that's going to take a little while. Love is probably quicker, but this, wow, is really conservative on the resources. Holy crap. That's been running for a while. So, I'll be back as soon as we get enough bricks to do what we're going to do. All right, quick note before I go and make all the bricks and stuff. This is what the cast looks like. It says ingot cast, and I'm going to show you guys here too. For those of you who don't know tinkers, uh, basically all those stencils we made, we can make directly into casts. Now you don't have to use a metal or metallic object to make the casts. You can use just a basic wooden, like a wooden tough, tough binding cast. Just stick it down there, pour the gold or aluminum brass on, it melts the thing away. And you get the cast. So I'll be back. Let's see here. Um, um, at Tinkers. You don't need a melter. Okay, it's all down here. 
So tank, it said we need eight. Twelve. I don't care about windows. Twelve, I usually like about four faucets. So another twelve, so twenty-four. Um, so 24. Twenty-four and eight is thirty-two, so we need half a stack of bricks, and then the rest of them can just be cast directly into the large basin. So, all right, I'll be back. It's been two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, everyone. Wow, this takes forever when you can only do it three grout at a time. That's a lot of time. This is the last brick. I've got everything I'm positive. Well, I hope I am, anyway. Yeah, there. That only took forever. Day 42. I'm curious about what time or what day it was. Alright, so we want these two spots to be open. Why? You'll see. Demon. No! 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 Screw you! Yeah, you come this way. Freaking creepers, man. Just leave me alone, let me build my thing. Jerks. Okay, so I got those in there. Okay, I didn't even intend to actually do that. Well, porcelain, porcelain, seared to seared. I didn't intend for that. That was actually just really cool. Well, this is the base. I will have to make three more bricks, actually. Mm, six more bricks. But I'll show you guys the basic outline. I am so... Need to move a space over. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing wrong here? I know I'm doing something wrong. So, boom, boom. And then ring, boom, boom. And. He doesn't see me. Why do I have to jinx it? Why? Why do I have to jinx it? Go away. Nobody likes you. So we only need one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, six more blocks and we'll be complete. So I, I wanted to show you guys the basic outline of what I was going for. So, ah! Forgive the yelling. Or we just going, oh crap. <laughs> I hate creepers. Um, be back as soon as that's ready up and ready to go okay i promise this is <laughs> this is it my mind space oh yeah i need six other ones 
Uh, so I started this at video at about nine. It's been three hours. Uh, taking that way. I think we're good. One there. One there. One there. Now, if done correctly, yes. And now we'll have nine spaces. And what we need to do is grab lava. Now, lava is not that hard to get. It's actually fairly easy. Oh, sweet. I've already got four buckets worth in there. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. If you don't know that reference, it's okay. <laughs> oh, where is the buckets? I don't know where, but I, I'm still sorting stuff when I said, I'm going to go ahead and record. And my brilliant mind went, oh, yeah, you can record. You just don't remember where any of your stuff is. There it is. So. So, what we'll do... And you can be, uh, here's the thing about this smeltery though. Oh yes, I did actually get the achievement. So you can claim that one, claim that one, claim I am grout, and this one. So we can actually do that. Now I can double my ores, which is gonna be really nice. There's one more thing I wanna do in this video and show you guys how I'm gonna kinda automate uh, in like, stuff being taken out so I have to keep you know, right clicking it and emptying it and stuff like that it's um well to automatically pour it it's going to call, be called a redstone clock and I have a really funny story behind a redstone clock okay so we're playing this mod pack and Rudetto goes hey I need you to make me a clock clock all right so I go and make him a clock. What different? What, what do I know? Yes. Okay, sure. I make him a clock. He says, "What's this?" I say, "It's a clock. A Minecraft clock. Yeah. And your redstone clock. You didn't tell me that. You just said you wanted a clock." And that became like a running joke. Look how much faster that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to bring one of them back in because I remember shortly. Oh, yeah, I kind of need something to pour the stuff into. I will say, though, it made me lost about 20 charcoal at the most doing all that. That's not bad. That's pretty stoic. And then we just pour two of them in. Oh, you guys have no idea how much faster this is. And you can, t you can stack it right on top. It's not going to disturb the nine slots. But once you finish another row, you'll get another nine slots. Another row, another nine slots. And another one. But just saying... It'll make a big difference. So I'm gonna wait till this one finishes and I'll pop in some more. Cause I'm gonna extend this thing up. Mm, couldn't breathe there for a second. A little boring. Huh. All good. Ah, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a double chest here. And I need, actually I need one more chest and I need five, uh, oh. 10 iron. I need two. I need another another uh, chest. So I'm going to make automate output at the current second. And what that's going to involve is something Rudetto came up with that I was very impressed by. Hot regular old hopper. Okay. Regular old hopper. But also, let's see. Alright, so, so that's 
pretty easy. <laughs> uh, I'm only gonna automate one of them. Like pull a redstone clock above one of the one of the ingots. Because the other side, in case I huh? I guess I could put her both, but I think my fear is there's going to be like half an ingot's worth of ingredients and it's going to try and pour it in both. So I only want to do one for the moment and maybe I'll device something for later on. But we'll work with it for now. Well, you never know. We're not going to use this all for the rest of the game. I mean, there's going to be a lot more that we're going to uh, do. Now it's can just use cobblestone. Where is he? So it's done. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be stone? <laughs> Alright, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm like I thought I was clicking on the one up above and I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't put stone in there. Okay, so I'm trying to get a backlog of charcoal just in case. All right, so I got a little bit of extra, so that's good. Anyway, while it's cooking that stone, getting that rest of that clock stone clock ready for me. <coughs> so I guess what I have in mind, I'll probably end up doing it on this side too, but I'll do it off camera. I'll just show you guys what my idea is. Should automatically output to this chest. I'm gonna double check. Okay, I need a wrench, which is not super hard to get. And I'll replace all this dirt later. I know it's a bit of border gore at the current seconds. Uh, border gore is a terminology I've come, I've uh, become familiar with due to. Uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Seriously, I am above the ground here. I'm a floor above in a building. Ah! Annie. Oh, wrench. That's right. <laughs> like, what was I hitting back in for? Wrench. My mind is... Eh. Alright. Now, the Crescent Hammer will work just fine. I love the Crescent Hammer from Thermal Foundation. Okay. I was like, did I get the name right? Gosh darn it. Mm. Okay, anyway, I need, I'll use this one. One, two, three, press a hammer. So that should be done. A redstone clock. I swear I saw something go by that window. I'm not going crazy. I swear I saw something. I'm like, here you go. I'm making sure there's nothing there. All right, so that's that one. Okay, so boom. Oh, 
that should automatically output whatever it is into there. So let's uh, do a demonstration. Melt those three gold down. Okay, so now we got gold in there, so let's take those gold and above this thing I'm going to put a redstone clock. And that automatically will tick or right click whatever's down there. Oops. And now we open the chest. And they're there. So I'm going to devise a little bit of a better way to do it. Like I'll have a double chest sitting right here, actually, and I'll have some item duct that will go right up to it. I think that'll be the best course of action. So I'll do it that way. But so I want to show you guys the methodology that we used on the previous server. And it works really well. And I'll have something similar set up over here. But I also have like the item that to go around underneath and into that chest. So all the metals go into that chest. I think that'll be the most beneficial, really. So that's it for today, guys. We have the smeltery set up, and I think that's great. Uh, we can work on the hunting dimension and the uh, start on the furnaces uh, very soon. Uh, I think those two will be next. Uh, probably cobblestone generation three will be next. So that one iron furnaces and Hunting dimension probably gonna be next now. We aren't, we're not gonna complete all of alpha before we do anything else. That's a no uh, That's no nah, not yet. So we'll probably do that and then we'll jump over to getting some more of these um, Upgrades I can't wait till we can start whooped. Oh. Gamma's still pretty far away and locked. We could start to work on Inferium stuff. Uh, if I get enough Inferium to get a seed, I'll definitely be cranking down on that. Uh, so we can get some power with Thermopiles if we want. That's definitely something I've been look I'm going to look forward to. Uh, we can start getting some... Stuff going with uh, ice called icy hot gender now. It's not called thermal pile. Interesting. So they're basically the same thing. And treated water wheel. Those are awesome for generating power. Uh, we just start working with thermal expansion. I want to do that within a few episodes. And that would be freaking awesome. I love it. Um. After that, I want to get Infernium watering can and then a watering can. I think that would be most useful. So I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next episode, which will be doing the hunting dimension, working on iron furnaces, and more. I'll see you guys next time.